The Hopkinton Library celebrated their first Saturday open. The library will now be open to the public Saturdays, 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Today's event is just a celebration of finally having the library open for Saturdays in the summer, which is something that families in Hopkinton have been begging for for many years, and we're happy to finally be able to do that. Slowly but surely, we're adding the hours that people have asked for over all the years. Um, I know working families, uh, Saturdays are a big deal for co coming to the library in the midst of all your other errands, and we're happy finally to be able to offer that to them. So we decided that in doing that, we would give a little celebration and just have a little food. There's a treasure hunt that's going to be in collaboration with the Library and the Historical Society, I believe it is, and we're going to rededicate the time capsule bench that the 300th committee has given to us. Um, so we'll have some people say a few words about that in a little while. Uh, other than that, uh, we're, just, we're just happy that we're finally here and open on Saturday. So this is our very first Summer Saturday that we're open. We were very fortunate this year um, in the budget cycle. We heard a lot of demand from town residents for more hours now that we have a beautiful new facility and we were able to get funding for that. So historically we have been closed on Saturdays in the summer um, and that's been a real problem for working parents, you know, people who work in general. Um, you know, having trouble getting to the library on the weekends just for themselves or with kids. So there's been a lot of demand for summer Saturdays and now we will be open at the same hours, 10 to 4, as every other Saturday throughout the year, which is very exciting for us. Um, so today we're having a little bit of refreshments for a celebration. Um, we're having a time capsule bench rededication uh, that is now living in the library. And um, there's a historical scavenger hunt that is starting from the building and sort of a drop in basis this morning. So we're trying to keep it fun and, and festive. This is the first time we've been open on a summer Saturday ever, as far as I know. I have, you know, not that much knowledge, way, way, way back. But we're very excited to be able to do it. We know that it's been something the community has really wanted. Um, so as part of what we're doing to celebrate today, we have this time capsule bench, which was built as part of the 300th anniversary celebrations for permanent installation in the library. This is a time capsule, um, and our thought was that it would be hidden in plain view so that people in 50 years would know just where to look so that they can open up um, and see what's in there. It, as one of the things that we did during the um, year of the 300th was that we were able to excavate time capsules that were in the um, cornerstone of what's now the Korean church, and it was really thrilling to open them up, but it was quite a process to dig them out. And so this will be much easier in 25 or 50 years, and um, you know, due to the um, water leaks in Town Hall and this going into storage and the um, construction of the library, this now finally, a couple of years after it was built, has found its home. So we couldn't be more thrilled. Uh, John Foster is um, the local artisan who built the bench for us. And underneath are um, three time capsules, one to be opened in 100 years and two to be opened in 50 years. And they're all labeled. Um, Mike Whalen made a special key for opening them, um, and he sealed them up. And so the key is embedded in the bench as well. So this is locally cut cherry. And um, we milled it up, uh, dried it, and uh, I just, it was an honor for me to do it for the town. I just hope the glue holds. <laughs> A lot of fun, a lot of work for a year, and it's really nice to just um, re remember that today because it's been a little bit of time. So we're so grateful to the library for um, being the keeper of this, and I hope that people will sit on it and enjoy it and crack it open in, um, in about two years. Um, I built this bench uh, in honor of the 300th anniversary uh, for the town of Hopkinton. It is made from uh, local cherry that was cut by Joe Regan, who is a resident here in town. And um, 
it was a lot of fun.